Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the last video I told you I'd talk about some of the discouragements I had during the cor my coronavirus experience. Probably the hardest thing for me was the fact that I could not be near my kids. Couldn't give them hugs, kisses, anything else. Luckily they are a lot older. They're teenagers and above. So we were really blessed because of that. But that was really difficult for me because family, if you haven't noticed from this channel, family is really important to me. And so that was really hard to, and it actually wasn't just two weeks. It ended up about three to four weeks that I was not able to do that. And that hurt that was hurtful to me another thing negative that's happened is i am not a good person to like to stay in bed if i'm in bed usually if i have to be sleeping or i want to get up and be getting stuff done and doing stuff and i really am not a good patient period i am not a good patient even with the EDS, even with my previous experience, um, even knowing I can't push my body too hard, as I said in the last video, actually, I pushed my body too hard. And I actually pushed that because I'm sure part of the way, because since then, a lot of what I've done has been I'll sit up as much as I can and then I'll lay back down and I'll all I can really do is turn on a YouTube show or play something on the phone or whatever. And even on the phone, I can only go so long before I have to put it down. And all I can do is sit there and watch videos or, you know, whether it's whatever types of videos. You Usually it's YouTube, but educational except any types of and even then sometimes they I can't do the educational actually a lot of times because then I'm exhausted so then I'm already in brain fog so I can't actually learn while the brain fog's going on so then I have to choose something else that I don't have to use my brain for and that's very frustrating to me I am a person who likes to be up and about, likes to be doing stuff, getting stuff done, accomplishing stuff every day. And that's probably been the hardest, the second hardest part of all of this is the fact that I can't, even some days I can only accomplish eating going to the bathroom and a little bit of sitting up and trying to catch up on things, different things like that. But even that, very little of it. Each day I'm getting a little bit more, but even that is, there's a limit to how much I can do. And it frustrates me, especially because I'm not tired at the same time. Um, I actually, some of the time I'm sleeping less now than I was before coronavirus, which would be great if I could also use that time to catch up on what happened during the coronavirus. But I haven't been able to. And that's been something that's frustrating to me. So if you guys actually have YouTube videos that you like, channels that you think I might be interested in, um, things like that, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, I like a lot of the documentaries, different stuff like that, that at least then I don't feel, I feel like maybe I can absorb something while I'm watching but I don't have to really fully be listening and trying to absorb it all to move on. At the same time, 
I'm not just wasting my time. So thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.